But before we see the action, let's join Martin on the touchline. Maybe it was because of the intense rivalry between uh, these two old famous clubs. Maybe it had something to do with the heavy weather of the morning. But the first half was pretty mediocre indeed, quite forgettable. It produced a half-time scoreline of nine points to three, three penalties to Paul Thorburn of Neath and one to Mark Wyatt. But what really roused the passion of the crowd and the players was an incident in the first half. And we'll show it to you in full simply because it affected the course of this game. Booth. We've seen a bit of a gap, that was obstruction. Spotted by the referee, and all of a sudden, tempers erupt. And still going on. Gregory, the replacement on that far side. Now, this is a stern test for Robert Davis, the new referee. Here's the lecture to all concerned to the front rows and fairly evident what the warning is all about the next time I see anything like that you go tempers then were a little frayed so let's rejoin the match now some eight minutes into the second half the referee an interesting choice his first big match debut in Wales, Robert Davis of Peng Cloud. He's already on the exchange panel. Last week, he refereed in France. Next week, he's in Scotland. But surely, he couldn't have asked for a better baptism than this one. Booth scrambles it away to Paul Williams. Not much room there. The pickup by Kieran Gregory, the replacement. Roland Phillips trying to get round on the short side, not finding much space there. And away comes Jackson. Jackson to Kevin Phillips. Ian Davis is there trying to impede the Neath progress. The knock on spotted by the referee Robert Davis. Just inside the neath half. Free kick. A little bit of illegality in the Swansea front row. Paul Thorburn not even thinking about an attempt uh, of an up and under. And Robert Jones really rifling that one back with interest. Kevin Phillips, the Welsh hooker, two-man line-out. That's one of his main targets, Barry Clegg. Alongside him, John Williams. And through goes Hugh Richards. And a bit of a scrap going on between two of the forwards. Robert Davis has seen it happening. But away goes play. Neath dangerously close to the Swansea try line Adding their weight, and they're still scrapping. John Williams and Barry Clegg. Now, uh, both sides have been cautioned, they have been warned, they have been told by Robert Davis, off they go, no nonsense, John Williams and Barry Clegg. Barry Clegg, a Welsh international, John Williams. And it all started at this short line out thrown in beneath, and I think Barry Clegg is very annoyed that John Williams has won the ball from, from him, as simple as that, and they tussly grabs Williams, and they both go on the phone and fight. In the meantime, the play has gone on, and it's down towards the Swansea line, and we go back, and they're still fighting, and Mr Davis had no option, he had warned them, off there to go. A long throw in the midfield, it could be anybody's, it's come to Richard Griffiths. Underneath the Swansea post, as Neath stream in with numbers, Swansea hold them up. Booth waits for the service from his forwards. And as yet, no whistle, there it comes. Neath put in. Well, Robert Davis spotted the infringement that time, has awarded the scrum, and it's going to be interesting to see the Neath lineup in this scrum. They've got one replacement on. He's a hooker. That's him, 16 Gregory. They, now they've lost Barry Clegg. So what are they going to do? And should they get hold of the ball, the Booth will have to deliver it very quickly. It's on the short side. Paul Williams. 
He's going to go on his own. Paul Williams, is he there? The try has been awarded. The first try of the match. Individual brilliance by Paul Williams. And Neath did ever so well to get that ball back from their rearranged scrum. And it's a scrum, and Neath have been under pressure in the scrums, but Booth puts it in, and it's good quick ball. Swift pass out to Paul Williams, and the man goes on a wide arcing run. And notice Elgin Reese come on the dummy. There's the dummy scissors, and he goes on the outside of Blevin Taylor. Still got a bit to do. He shows good determination, forces it over. Excellent try for the outside half. Ten points the difference between the two sides, and that try by Paul Williams takes him over the half century mar uh, points for Neath this season, the club's top point scorer. Robert Jones. Well, was there a hand there that helped the ball along the way to the heels of Moriarty? Wayne Jones in midfield. Much away. They miss out a man. Hopkins. They miss out another man to Blethyn Taylor. Taylor up against Paul Thorburn. Thorburn wrestles the wing into touch. At last, we see some quick quarter play from Swansea. And when they move it, just look for the long pass in the centre. And it's straight out to Blair and Taylor, which puts him on the outside of his man. But good shadowing by Paul Thorburn gives the Swansea winger no chance and forces him into touch. Kevin Phillips having a quiet word with the referee, not absolutely agreeing with his last decision. This again, a good position for Robert Jones, the Swansea captain, to launch something. On the heels of Moriarty to Wayne Jones. Much way, the passing, not clever that time, and this is an opportunity beneath if they get hold of the ball and get it away to Alan Edmonds. Edmonds with Corbin outside. The chip from Edmonds into no man's land. The ball still alive. Mark Davis cleaning up for Swansea. And Swansea will have to hold this ball up and regroup as Neath go rummaging for possession. And their reward, a scrum eight or nine metres outside the Swansea 22. Booth with the feed. And the little grubber. Lynn Jones is there, quick as a flash. Swansea attempting to stop this onslaught. Uh, it's sixes and sevens. But the penalty has been awarded. Swansea killing the ball. Sixteen metres the distance. Against the slight breeze. Wind certainly has died down in the second half. No problem at all. Sixteen points to three the score. Hitchings throws, at the back it's Roland Phillips, the policeman from St David's, to Paul Jackson, who's got support inside, picked up by Kieran Gregory, anybody's ball, Lynn Jones gets hold of it to Booth, cleverly done for Paul Williams, Richard Griffiths, Edmonds inside, Edmonds away to Thorburn on the far side, he's got Richard Griffiths inside him, Thorburn still going, half tackled by Mark White, superbly taken by Booth, up to Steve Powell, Powell charging towards the line, Neath really have got their tails up. But can they get hold of this ball? It's to Booth, to Richard Griffiths. Griffiths, can he get it on his own? A try has been awarded. The try scored by Kieran Gregory, the replacement. Superb work from end to end. And at last, a try that we've all been waiting for. And Neath started by plowing forward with their pack. Quinn Gregory is involved, Jackson's on the charge. They're making the way down the narrow side. And Lynn Jones, he's always in the thick of things, always looking to feet. He gets the ball back. And they spread the ball wide. Some nice handling. And Alan Edmonds comes in on a, a very straight angle of running. And good support play then on the outside by Paul Thorburn. Intelligent running. And he doesn't die with the ball. Looking for support on the inside. Griffiths is there. Booth is there. Driving towards the line. The forward's there in strength. And eventually the ball comes back to the substitute Gregory. And he's delighted to plunge over for an excellent try. 
and the smile on his face because uh, <laughs> the Tannoy at the Knoll have attributed the try to somebody else. There's the correction, much to Kieran Gregory's delight. Thank you very much, he says. Caroline Phillips to Andrew Booth to Richard Griffiths. Bit of a break on there. Has he got the back row support? He certainly has. It comes from Lynn Jones. It's going to be a chase to the line. Taylor goes back for Swansea. A knock on. The advantage is going to be played. The pick up by Andrew Booth on that far side, and then suddenly Neath knock it forward, or do they? No, they don't. The ball comes to Richard Griffiths. Out to Steve Powell, or to Elgin Reese. It's possible. First touch of the ball, and it's a try. Elgin Reese, the first time the ball has come to him, scores a try. And that settles the outcome of this match. And that started off at a th Swansea throw in at the line out. And it's won by Neath. And it's moved in the midfield. Nice passing by Booth. And look at the lovely run by Richie Griffiths. But it's all about support play, isn't it? And there's this man, Lynn Jones, up the middle of the field. He's a tremendous player. A lovely chip ahead. Tremendous support play. Swansea in disarray. And Neath there in numbers. And a, when the ball comes back, eventually it's Booth again involved in the movement. Richie Griffiths deserves to be there, and a marvellous pass about 20 metres out gives Elgin Rees, the veteran wing, plenty of time to go over for an excellent try. It's the Meath's captain's decision that there should be a change of kicker. It's Paul Williams, no mean kicker himself. Carefully slotted over, no problem at all. And Meath extend their lead to 26 points to three. Paul Hitchens with the line-out instructions for his forwards. A throw for Moriarty. Down for Jones. A certain lack of confidence now in the Swansea ranks. Paul Williams, superb pass out of Alan Edmonds. He's come in from his other wing to his fellow wing, Elgin Rees. Rees looking back inside, finding the support from Steve Powell. Powell back inside of Kieran Gregory, the try scorer. Up Coney towards the Swansea 22-metre line. Booth with the release, out to Thorburn. Not much support from there, but it eventually finds Steve Powell. And he certainly has picked up a pace this game, and eventually coming to an end with a penalty just outside the Swansea 22. 30 seconds of the match remaining of actual time. Swansea with no option but to run the ball. Mike Morgan. The new man from Mumbles, the half pick up by Morris Colcloth. He'll be struggling for the ball. We now go into injury time. Andrew Booth with a pick up. The lead scrum has been better and after the departure of Barry Clegg. More evenly matched, and away goes Griffiths. Up towards the 10 metre line. He's got two men outside. The pass to Alan Edmonds. Surely he'll make it in the corner. Edmonds all the way. Neath beginning to run right. And this is a magnificent try because it comes, as we can see, from the Neath scrum and they've been under pressure. But you notice the Steve Powell has come onto this narrow side to have a bash at the Swansea defence, but he stops, changes his mind, and a lovely river, the rugby pass puts the, the Neath backs in the open. And look at the flick passing in midfield. And then there's the burst of speed by Richard Griffiths. Tremendous burst of pace. And the Swansea covers, trying to block him off, but he, he straightens his angle. A lovely pass out to Edmonds, and he's very fast, this winger, and over for a magnificent try in the corner. Well, Paul Thorburn converted that try, which made the final score 32 points to three and a fine win for Neath.